video is going to be about how I apply my cushion grip and maybe a few little extra tips, tricks, and hacks to applying it. The first thing you want to do is get a glass of hot tap water. Just the tap water as hot as it'll go, nothing crazy. Make sure your denture is clean and dry and don't use mouthwash right before. That will mess with the curing process. Just squeeze out a dime to nickel size amount, a little ball, and heat it up in your hands because it is heat activated and then roll it into a snake. Now each snake is going to go on one side of your denture. I don't recommend covering the palette on the upper plate. I think you should just use two balls, one for each side in the trough. After you get your cushion grip applied, then sit it on the counter and don't touch it for five to seven minutes. Letting it sit on the counter for five to seven minutes before placing it in your mouth is going to help with that tingling sensation. It'll help that to go away. All right, and now it's time to put it in your mouth. Get it seated, bite down, put in your opposing denture if it's if you need to line it up and here's how I do it. I do it before bed. That way you're, you're really supposed to go about six hours without any eating or drinking. So for me, it's easier to just go to bed and let it cure while I sleep. I sleep in my dentures that one night and then the next day I can wake up and I can eat and drink. If you're not sure of the perfect amount to use yet, um, here's what you do. Apply it about two hours before bed. That way you can come back and trim it if need be after two hours and then go to sleep and let it finish curing. So just a few things to remember. No mouthwash right before. Don't use any adhesive or soak your denture for 24 hours after first applying. Pry it with the palette left open. And that way, if you absolutely need to use adhesive the next day and it hasn't been 24 hours, you can put a little bit of adhesive right there on the palette where you didn't put the cushion grip. Also, if you decide that you don't like it, don't take it out before it's cured. Go ahead and let it finish curing so that it will be easier to remove. Last but not least, if you have any questions about how to apply your cushion grip or how to take it off or rules and what to do and what not to do, um, leave a comment below and I will be happy to answer your question. I'll also leave a link to the instructions in the comments. Hey y'all, uh, Ash Mac and Cheese here. Bright and early, I wanted to, I don't know, make a video from my car, I guess. Um, I was trying to think what I could do the video on, and it struck me that maybe I should talk about the difference between a soft reline and a hard reline. So, a soft reline is where they, they put this material in your denture, that it's something that they mix up and they pour on your denture. Um, kind of liquidy, but not like runny liquidy. Um, anyway, so it makes your denture fit comfortably and better and just makes everything work better if it's done correctly. So, um, really, I'm, I'm a big one on soft relines. Love it. They are not permanent. So, if for some reason the dentist does it too thick or you don't like it or... You know, you have an allergic reaction to it, which I've seen happen lately. Um, you can just rip it right out of there or get your dentist to rip it right out of there. But um, anyway, so on to a hard reline. Um, a hard reline is where they're going to put like when you go in and you have your impressions done, that impression material, they're going to put that in your denture and then they're going to put it in your mouth and make a new mold usually inside of your old denture the one that you're currently using and they're going to send that to the lab well the lab is going to totally redo the acrylic part to fit your mouth better so this can be a really good thing because it'll make your denture fit um, again snugly and um, you know just give you a good fit but it can also be a bad thing because they're pretty permanent i mean they're redoing the acrylic of the denture so make sure the midline whenever they do those impressions make sure the midline is right that's on a soft reline too but especially on a hard reline um sometimes you have to go a day or sometimes i've seen even a week people have to go without their dentures while they're at the lab getting hard reline but if they mess it up i mean you're pretty much going from, you know, going with that from there. So, um, yeah, 